blasted. Right field, J.P. Crawford! What a win that was for the Mariners. Now, how did I feel about that? You will find out after a word from our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. Well, the Mariners just won their first game one to nothing. Now, before we get started, let's hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And also donate to this channel as well to help grow this channel. So the Mariners just won one to nothing. I know I already said that. And things that really stuck out, George Kirby, although he got off to a very shaky start, he got out of the first inning with a jam. And he also unbelievably pitched eight strikeouts. He was absolutely amazing. He was going into the seventh inning, but he did give up a hit, which led to Scott Service yanking him out. Yes, he was getting into the 100 pitches, but I think he should have finished that inning because Gabe Spire was looking a little bit shaky, but he did get out of that inning. And at least, oh man, at least it was still on survival. And then J.P. Crawford, as we know, hit that home run. He finally stepped up after an 0 for 4 abysmal performance from yesterday. But finally, he did step up and did hit that home run. Other things that stuck out was, unfortunately, Jorge Polanco, he had like three awful strikeouts where he just completely swung like a complete fool. Like It looked like he was just trying to kill it no matter what, but did not happen. Other things that really stuck out was Dominic Canzone was very concerning. He didn't do that well at all. So unfortunately, he is still hitless so far, which makes me a little bit nervous, but I don't know. Let's take a look at the box scores of this game. So J.P. Crawford was one for three. He did hit that home run. Julio Rodriguez was one for three. Jorge Polanco 0 for four with that strikeout. And he did line out. It looked like there could have been a nice single to bring in at least two runs, but it was went right to the first baseman. Mitch Hanniger struggled this time, going 0 for 3, along with Cal Raleigh 0 for 3. Ty France played a little bit better. He got a single, but 1 for 3. Dominic Canzone went 0 for 3. Luis Urias was terrible, 0 for 3, but he did have a nice play going to first base with that play. And then Luke Raley finally got a hit now he's one for three the winner of this game was george kirby nick pavita got the loss because of that home run and andres munoz struck out three in a row with a save and the other thing that stuck out with george kirby was he struck out three batters in a row twice in this game so it was a very outstanding performance but the bullpen is something i'm very nervous about because i mean Kirby, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Gabe Spire, he struck out one, but he did give up that hit. Ryan Stanek was giving me like that Jose Mesa vibes where he walked and he gave up a hit. He did get that strikeout, but Munoz had to come in and clean it all up, which luckily he did. And Munoz was just unbelievable with three strikeouts. Now, how I go feel going into the next game. Now, before I talk about that, I mean, Scott Service is his... Pitching management decisions is still very a little bit shaky. I still wanted Kirby to finish that inning. I think it was a knee-jerk reaction to just pull him out after just giving up one hit. Yes, the fastball went down, but aside from that, I really wanted him to finish at least the seventh inning because I know I, I wouldn't have expected him to get the complete game, but at least should have finished the seventh inning to rest your arms. But at least at this point, I think Service just wants to see how well these bullpen pitchers can pitch at least until Matt Brash and Gregory Santos gets back from their injuries as they are on a 15 day IL. So for at least this month, it's going to be definitely a challenge. Now looking at the next game, we've got Logan Gilbert pitching tomorrow and hopefully he can, hopefully he can step up and get that next win. It will be against Cutter Crawford and now how is Cutter Crawford? He was 6-8 and eight with a 4.04 ERA. It looks like 
he doesn't walk as much. He's 135K to a 36 walk ratio. And now looking at Logan Gilbert, he was a 3.73, 13 and 7, 189 strikeouts. So I do feel good about that matchup. So let's get the man some run support. And hopefully we can get the Mariners this win. And that's going to be it for my post-game show, at least. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. And once again, thanks for watching.